here's a quick demo of my tilt pan antenna system. Um, this is the uh, tilt pan assembly made by a ready-made RC. Pretty easy to put together. You can see it's um, it's got the high-tech servos. Um, basically, in tilt, it's you know basically level to to 90 degrees, basically looking straight up. And in terms of pan, um, it, it, it can pan a full 360 degrees. You can see here, there's a stop right there. It's where the high-tech servo has got a stop on it. And I rotate about the other direction. It just rotates just slightly more than the full 360 degrees. So it's geared to, um, to basically allow full 360 degree rotation. The big issue will be, of course, when it hits the stop and you want to rotate further, the unit will have to fully rotate back and then continue rotating in that angle. Continue rotating in that direction. This is my uh, this is my patch antenna here. Basically, 1.280 gigahertz. Here's the uh, the receiver that's just basically velcroed on the back of this assembly. I've got a uh, three cell, 2200 milliamp hour uh, battery. Powers it pretty well. Large stations here with a um, a tray. This is the, um, to the ready-made assembly, here's the Argus station, two connectors for the servos, basically plug in the back. One thing I added was a heat sink right here. It's real important to heat, to, if you're running servos off the Argus station, to have a heat sink on the voltage regulator, particularly if you're going to power it from a three-cell LiPo. You go to a, to a two-cell LiPo and there'll be less heat. But it works fine for me with the, uh, heat sink on there. Um, here's the, the custom ply, uh, plywood tray I added. The, the ready-made kit ends right here and uh, it's basically a piece of plywood on the side and a little shelf I built. Mount this back in. There we go. And I'll show you some of the, dis the display and how, how to uh, initialize the unit. Basically, it's powered off right now. When I hit the power switch, it's going to rotate to the um, zero position on pan when you consider the range being minus 180 to plus 180 and 45 degrees up for tilt. This is the display that comes up that basically have the same display. I added one. I actually expand, added one option here called antenna stop. What that allows you to do is change where the the stop is basically processed by the software. So um, if you want to change it for where you're flying, right now I have it set up so that the stop is pointed that direction, where the stop is pointed basically uh, to the north, south being that way. Uh, if I hit the switch here, I can change where the I can rotate basically where the stop position is, if I and it does it in uh, I think 20 degree increments. Right now, now the top stop position is right behind us. Uh, I can slew it back here to where it was. Hit OK, and now that sets the stop, which is basically the default. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, power up the Argicopter so it starts to send send data. Okay, it's powered up. Go ahead and start the Mavlink feed by hitting this menu option. Mavlink's now up and running. If I go to the flight data screen, you'll see that it, uh, it started receiving data and then slewed the antenna. I'm going to go ahead and pull it back into camera range to show you what's going on with the display. Right now there's six satellites that it's acquired. Um, it's getting a fix pretty well here, and uh, shows a little heartbeat symbol here from the Mavlink. That's right now I have it. The, the, if you pull up the unit, then it, it disengages the gear, so the gear is trying to, to to pan the unit. 
based on its previous home position, showing an altitude of 600 feet, which is not really, the, the, the surveyed altitude here is about 722 feet, so it's, it's going to take a second for the, for the GPS to actually uh, get a good solution. And while we're waiting, you can see the, uh, I'll show you some of the other screens here. It's basically showing me uh, status of where it's directing the antenna to point. It's wanting to have the antenna point at 318 degrees. Um, and then the altitude, it's just mirroring what it was on the first screen, 761 feet. And it's showing the tilt, the vertical, I'm sorry, the vertical angle, which is it's saying it wants to point the antenna up 70 degrees. Third screen, distance, 2D distance to where the home position is. I haven't set the home position yet. The, the last home position that was stored in the EEPROM is saying it's 11 feet. Um, 3D distance is 37 feet, so it's quite vertical from where the home position is set to. Then the uh, direction is which direction it wants to point. The, uh, the vertical direction 71 degrees and 16 degrees in, uh, in pan. And then this is the display that I use to uh, set the home position. It's showing the current latitude and longitude and the last home position set here in the bottom. And if I hit the center button, that'll go ahead and save the home position uh, of the antenna itself. And so what I have to do is bring the Argicopter over and basically hold it near this position and then set it when I get a good solution. Let's see what the, uh, what the, uh, we're seeing about eight satellites. It's best. The GPS position moves all the time, and the better, the more satellites you've got, the better position you're going to get. And also, the better the altitude is closer to you what your survey position is, the better the, uh, the operation of the uh, antenna will be. Right now, it's showing nine satellites, and the, the altitude's coming down. We'll let it sit here and get a really good position. I'm going to go ahead and move the Argicopter out and feel a little bit to get a better view of the sky. And we'll give it a second to get a better, to get like 10 satellites or 11, that would be really optimal. Okay, we're alternating between 9 and 10 satellites acquired. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the home position. Bringing the quad over. It looks like we're going up to 11. So that's pretty good. Set it to set home. Basically, do that. The home is set. And we're looking pretty good. Um, I'm not going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and set the actual position of the antenna. So I'm going to put this out at a fair distance away. At this point, display shows about 17 feet. Um, direction about 132 degrees. To actually set the antenna, I'm just going to have it point directly at where the Argicopter is right now. And now we basically have the antenna set to point at the Argicopter while it's flying. At this point the antenna is pointed. The Argicopter I'm going to go ahead and just walk out and show the antenna pointed. 